the uh, AIKS has organized this long march. Yes. Uh, right from 6th March and now today is the 7th day. Yes. From Nasik, we have reached Mumbai, a distance of almost 200 kilometers. Yes. Uh, it started out with about 15 to 20,000 farmers. Now the uh, figure has gone up to over 60, 70,000. Okay. So this is itself a very, uh, this, you know, the burgeoning support that we are getting. Mm. Uh, now you see the main demands on which we are uh, concentrating on. Uh, loan waiver to the farmers, number one. Uh, implementation of the Forest Rights Act, which actually should vest land in the names of the tribals who have been cultivating it for the last several generations. Uh, thirdly, remunerative prices for agricultural produce as per the Swaminathan Commission recommendations. Fourthly, pension for poor farmers and agricultural workers. Fifth, there has been a very bad attack of this pink ballworm on the cotton crop in Maharashtra, which has led to losses of the tune of 12,000 crore rupees right. uh, in Vidarbha and Marathwada, uh, which are the uh, endemic areas of farmer suicides. Right. And exactly those areas are affected. Right. Now, on all these issues, then there is another thing like the forced land acquisition for fancy and elitist projects like the bullet train right. from Mumbai to Ahmedabad, etc. So, on all these issues, we have taken this up yes. and we are going to make it a fight today in the negotiations that are there in the afternoon. Right. So, but, uh, but also, sir, when it comes to this with the negotiations, from what I understand is if, if the government does not accept these demands, then it will be a gherao, it would be, it yeah. would be a fast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. certainly. Uh, and after, 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 yeah. essentially you're going to wait it yeah. out till your demands are yeah, exceeded. Till demands. Exactly, we'll wait till that time. Now we are going for discussions with the uh, ministers right. and if it is satisfactory, it's a different matter. If it is not, then uh, all other avenues are open to us. Sir, but one view is that these are issues. For example, the Swaminathan Committee report is something yeah. that came out in 2006. Six. And we've been waiting for quite a while for the yeah. implementation therein. Right. It's not a conversation that will reach a solution within a day. No, no, that's so, true. So we, we are aware of this. We are very much aware of this. We will be concentrating on the achievable demands. Okay. What are those, sir? That is this Forest Rights Act. Yeah. Some more expansion of the loan waiver. Right. Uh, this compensation for the pink ballworm and the hailstorm okay. affected. Right. Uh, the question of old age pensions. Right. These are all things which the government can give right now. Mm. But then, there's a, then huh. there's a question, sir, yeah. and, and this is now the yeah. other side of the spectrum, yeah. about the the, uh, the will of the government with regard yeah. to the finances that it has. Because yeah. Maharashtra is, in fact, one of the mm. states with the highest levels of debt. Correct. So, is the government really able, mm. or will it be able, to accede to your demands? That's a question. See, see they have to decide their political priorities. Okay. Huh? They have to very clearly, we are very much of the opinion that they have to decide their political priorities and make cuts in all other in, in essential things right. uh, and then you give this thing to the farmers primacy second point that i want to just say okay although today our struggle is against the maharashtra government primarily right but it is our clear opinion of the all india kisan sabha that the central government led by the bjp and mr narendra modi has been the biggest criminal either in this whole question of anti-farmer policies mm. Uh, I don't think any worst anti-farmer government has come in India since okay. independence. Okay. They promised remunerative prices as mm. per the Swaminathan Commission in every public meeting for the 2014 elections. Right. BJP election manifesto included it. And then in February 2015, they go to the Supreme Court with an affidavit right. saying that we cannot implement this because it will distort the market. I think a bigger uh, example of dishonesty is very difficult to find. All right. You know, so therefore this is a loan waiver, no okay. loan waiver. Okay. We are demanding from the state government. The largest amount of funds, where are they? They are concentrated with the central government. Yes. Not one word about loan waiver has been said by the central government in these last four years. Mm. However, Nirav Modi decamps with lakhs of crores of rupees. Vijay Malaya decamps, Lalit Modi goes. Today the NPAs you must be aware yeah, of a few corporate companies uh, that is now reached along with interest 11.5 lakh crores yes but this so is a fantastic amount you essentially this you are not doing anything and when it comes to loan waiver for the farmers who are committing suicide 4 lakhs have committed suicide in the new liberal policies last 25 years largest figure of 75000 in maharashtra for them you say you have no money 
This so is what we are against. You're essentially saying that there's a discrepancy with regard to priorities by exactly. the centre. So, so priority exactly. being one thing, but so when you talk about the Swami Nathan Commission report as well, and, and something I have to ask you as well, because a few months ago we saw this particular ground yeah. uh, house the Maratha Kranti Morcha uh, okay. protests as well, which were largely silent, largely agrarian, apolitical, and leaderless. That was the way forward for them. Right. This is penned out in a very different way. Uh, some of the demands are similar when it comes, but even there we saw the Swami Nathan Commission Committee recommendation is not really uh, you know uh, having any resonation with the government you're saying that that is a long term goal perhaps for this movement because sir today they you know farmers have walked 180 kilometers for this particular okay. protest what happens today what happens tomorrow do they go back satisfied or will there be other long term demands no see as you said there are two kinds of demands right. one is immediate urgent short term right. On those, we are going to definitely insist. Now, for example, Marathwada, Vidarbha. As I told you, 12,000 crores have been lost because of that pink bollworm yes. attack. Now, these are demands of... Immediate relief. Unless they settled Forest Rights Act implementation. 12 years, they have not implemented the Act, although it has passed in. These are issues without settling, which we are not going to get out from here. So there was, a view after, sure. there was a view after the union budget that there were certain measures that were taken for the farmers. Is is that not something that is being considered at this point? Frankly, to tell you, all those measures were an eyewash. And that is the Modi government has become infamous for this. Ghoshna hmm. Karna Sir make tall, tall announcements, not implementing a single thing on the ground. Hmm. That is the actual reality. So, but uh, considering this particular uh, movement and the way you've received support from several political parties, as a last question while we're walking towards the rally, are you satisfied with the sort of support you've gotten from the other political parties? Is, I'll tell you frankly, the support from the people of Maharashtra, first let me say that, it has been phenomenal, it has been amazing, it has been fantastic.